at the Washington Hilton, where only weeks before, Carl Rove as MC Rove rapped and members of the Washington press corps danced back up. Progressives gathered to take back America. I think that what must happen is the agenda must be established before the candidate and the candidate must represent a progressive agenda. Democrats are in a great position because they feel like they can't lose uh, with the many great choices they have. Republicans, of course, will tell you something different. Uh, they're maybe more eagerly uh, looking for someone else. We need to be told. We need to have backbone. We need to have courage. It is time for us to lead again. I am proud that I stood up in 2002 and urged our leaders not to take us down this dangerous path. I said it before and I'll say it again. This is a war that should have never been authorized, a war that should have never been waged. You're doing like my metaphor. <laughs> but as a 20-something male and a member of the media, I was interested in more substantive issues. Have you seen Obama Girl around? No, I haven't. Obama, do you know, who, are you familiar with Obama Girl? I heard about all of this. Yeah, she's beautiful. That's good. Um, what's, that, what's that got to do with health care? What does that got to do with the war? What it got to do with anything? They're gonna put veterans out on the street. Yeah, no money. All the money's going towards the war. What about Obama girl? I'm looking to meet her. No, uh, I wonder about that. You know, you, that's a good subject because all of a sudden, here this girl come out of nowhere. And if you really look at the movie, she really ain't just ain't go out nothing. She got on a, a little napkin, yeah. you know, a baby diaper. Dental floss. Yeah, baby diaper, you know. Serious uh, negotiations for peace, peace, uh, land for peace, and that's it, you know. And did you know where I can uh, meet Obama girl? Whom? Obama girl. You know, the Oakland booty and the L.A. face. I can't tell you that. Oh, she's fine. I don't know. Obama girl, do you think you can help me find her? No, I don't, I don't like cameras. Really well, at least can you introduce me to Matt Stoller? To who? We're not having a debate over this pressing moral issue. And, and, and you know, that's just an example. They're not... Obama has Obama girl. Well, I mean, that's a, that's a really good example. You've got essentially um, softcore pornography that is for hire for people that are trying to make money on the energy around politics. And that's like the essence of the Obama campaign. You know, I mean, that's what they're about. It's a narcissistic festival of self-love. She's sexy. And you're connecting this with voting? Well, it's a whole video. She's shaking her booty and everything and singing. And because of that, you want to vote for Obama? I just am, you know, I think like Obama's cooler now. Oh, wow. That's shallow. That's really shallow. The right uses the lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender community as a wedge issue, they, you know, we're their primary fundraising target. The progressive community in general has not been, I think, as warm to embracing fully LGBT and equality and LGBT rights as it could. I'm Ken Melman, and I want you to try to convince me to stop these, uh, you know, this anti-gay uh, politicking that we're doing. First, I would say, Ken Melman, it's time for you to come out of the closet. I've never denied being straight or confirmed it. You can call me Ken, by the I way. I can call you Ken. And, you uh, don't look anything like Ken, though. But, no, I'll give, you, I'll give you my hotel key and I'll prove that I'm Ken <laughs> Melman. Oh, really? And, and uh, as Ken Melman, I, I want you to, t I want to let you know that I, I believe in ex-gay therapy. Uh, I believe. I was wondering if you would, bad. if you would pray with me right now and see if it, see if it works on you. I don't, you know, even though I am a person of faith, I don't think that. Uh, well, let's just, I could, let's just I try could. and see if it works, and then you tell me if it works or not. That, to okay. see if what works. The prayer, pray, that we can pray away the gay. Uh, I don't think that's possible, though. I wouldn't want to do let's that. Let's just try. For the national gay Come on, National's you might like it. Just try. But beneath the veneer of cheery liberalism, conspiracies were being planned. Um, I believe there is uh, corrupt parts of the government that led to the attacks that they let it happen. I mean, that's a, that's a big belief from a lot of people. So it was an inside job. Um, yeah, pretty much. After encountering so many wackos, I needed to talk to a real voice of reason. 
Al Gore was president now, you think everything would be the same and we'd be in the same position we are with the environment, the war, the economy, international relations? Given his record as vice president, yes. It wouldn't be that much different, uh, except for the war. You said the war, the environment, the economy, yeah. international. The environment would have been like it, like it was under, you know, Carter or whatever. Small differences. I am Sidney Blumenthal. Yeah, I'm a senior fellow at Media Matters, and some people say I am the center of the vast left wing conspiracy. Well, I, I have a chart I downloaded off the National Review website. Yep. At the top, we have the Jewish Hungarian financier. What's yeah. his name? The guy's uh, George Soros. Soros, okay. Yeah. At, uh, Bill O'Reilly has talked about this, and David Horowitz that all the money goes to Media Matters and the vast left wing conspiracy. Well, it takes about forty billion dollars a year to try to take Bill O'Reilly down. Hey, did you see that Costanza guy on TV? <laughs> look, look at this guy. This guy will never get work again in his life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our host for this evening, Jason Alexander. Jason Alexander gave the crowd a healthy helping of red meat. They ate it up. Finally, bloggers were honored as the future of the progressive movement. From what I could tell, the net roots had lit a fire under the grassroots. What blogs do you guys read every day? What blogs do we read? Yeah. What you mean in the newspaper? Also, uh, I had another question. What blogs do you guys read every day? Well, I don't, I don't read blogs. What blogs do you read every day? I don't read blogs. I, 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 I don't either. I, I, yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm the only black man in America that's writing a blog. Really? Yes. Why, why do you feel that way? Because most bloggers are, are, are white guys. Why is that? Why Explain this phenomenon. I don't know what the reason for it is, but they seem to have a lot of free times with their computers. For example, when Steve Gilliard passed, I think a lot of people maybe realized that it's not all white males that are blogging. I think we have a lot of work to do to reach out past the very informed people who read blogs. Stand it when your so-called friends put you down. Lord, remember, don't call.